This is Graham from Naughty D coming to you with another video. This one is also part of our WordPress series. We're going to be showing you how to set up a members only version of your site. We're going to be showing you a plugin which is very simple and very easy to use, which helps you set this up. It allows you to set up sections that are member, non member, and you can even set up varying levels of members. So you can have it set up for different types of subscribers, like a premium subscriber, a regular subscriber, and then like a free user. So these are things that are quite commonly used on most sites, especially for paying services. And we've got a couple questions of how to set this up. So we're going to be showing you how to use this plugin and how to set this up on your site. We'll also be giving you an example to show you how it works afterwards of what people will see and what exactly it's going to do. I'm going to start off here as usual by going into your WordPress site. In WordPress, we need to go into plugins and we're going to go to add new so we can add it in here. So in here is WordPress Access Control. It's the one that's actually called. I'm going to select WordPress Access Control. You'll see it's four and a half stars here. I'm going to click on Install Now. Click on OK. And then it's going to go through and install it. Like usual, make sure to activate the plugin. Otherwise, it's not going to take effect or do anything. Once we've gone into there, we can go into Edit here normally. Now this one here, because it doesn't actually have its own special settings, we're actually going to skip going through edit. That'll get you into the source code. So if you enjoy using source code, you can use that. We actually want to go into the settings menu from the left hand side to modify the settings and go into members only this time. And here we're going to have some very specific members. Uh, some options for it here. The first one here is going to make blog members only. We're actually not going to check mark this in this case because there are very few instances when you want this to happen. This is when you want to make the entire site member only essentially. If you do make it member only and check mark this box, you then want to set another page here like a login page where it takes anyone else who hasn't logged in yet too. This way they'll be able to go to a login page, they can get to like um, a registration page if you want it instead so that they can sign up for your site. So we're going to leave those two blank in this case. Where it says override permissions, these are some default permissions set in place by WordPress to see what users can do what. In this case here, administrator, you always want to leave checkmark. This is actually the account you're logged into right now, and you want to make sure you have full access to everything as the administrator. The other options you can choose depending on how you've got the site set up. You may see other roles here if you set up any custom roles yourself. The editor and the author are generally the other two you'll contemplate about adding permissions to. The contributor and the subscriber are typically just viewers of the site or people who help out once in a while, but not someone you want to give a lot of access to. So we're going to leave it just as administrator in this case. For the display menus, these are you can go two ways with this. Display menu means the menu like across the top or on the left hand side. We're going to go ahead and select only show menu items to users with access them and always show all menus to even if they can't access them. Now this is an important one to go for. If you restrict menu access for certain menu items, then you're going to want to make sure to select the only option here at the top, which is only show menu items to users who are logged in. This way, everyone sees an appropriate menu bar to themselves so you don't have to put in extra clauses to prevent issues. So we're going to leave it on that one. For the page and post options, this allows you to go in and set a default or global level of what's going on. This means that for a post, if you go here and it's selected to be member only, it means that only a member can see that post only a member can see pages etc. You can also go through and you can also set it up on a page and post perspective, so each page and post individually, and that'll override this setting. But it's a good idea just to leave these as public and go in individually and set them up. If you want it universally across the board where say pages are for members only but posts anyone can see, then you can go in and select the members only section for it. And you can set that up very easily just by selecting the options here. There's one for posts and there is a section for pages. Where it says post accessible only by, by having nothing checked, it means everyone by default has the ability to view it. If you want to restrict access to say something only you and the ad other administrators can see, you can check mark that for the posts or pages. You can set this up so there's very special things that only you guys can see. You can set it up for an editor, author. If you set up your own individual rules, you can go in and set them up as well. And this way you can restrict access to a need to know basis for only those who you want to see it. Now if you want a redirect page for anyone who can't see one of these pages you've restricted access, you can put in a redirect page so they'll go there instead. For the search options, you can even limit this. You can make it so certain items can't be found in the search menu unless you want them to be by certain levels of the administrators, the users, or anything else. So you can actually limit that as well. We're going to leave them all open here just because the search function isn't really going to 
function really well on this default WordPress site we set up. But if you have a lot of paste or posts, this is definitely a good helpful thing for you because then that way you can limit what someone can search. You can find it so things just plain and simple aren't in the list or aren't accessible to be found on your site if you don't want them to be by different users. Once you've made any changes, you want to go ahead and make sure to click Save Changes at the bottom. It'll give you the little confirmation at the top saying it saved the settings, which is perfect. Now if we go into the pages, for instance, we can select the sample page, just a default one WordPress creates for us. If we're going to edit it here. We can find this new section at the top, which says only accessible to members, only accessible to non-members, or apply on option to children. Children is just a group that's set up here as a default. So if we go into here, we can select which type of members we want. As again, by default, if nothing checkmarked, it means everyone can. If we want it so that we want them to go to a different page, like say just um, just use the home page for instance. So what happens now is if someone is a member, they're logged in, they'll be able to actually see this page. If someone goes without logging in, they'll actually be redirected back to the main page of the site. Or in this case here, just to give it a little more oomph, we'll go ahead and we'll do this. And so it'll take them to the login page, just as an example. You can also choose whether or not it's in the search options. All you need to do once you've made your selections is update the page. And then if we go to post, we can do a similar thing. So if we choose one of the posts here, we're just going to choose on post 3. And in here, we can see we've got an option set up by default, just similar to the one before. We're going to get rid of it. And we're, this one, we're going to make it only accessible to non-members, meaning if you're signed in, you're not going to see this page. It's going to redirect you instead to the main page. And then if you're instead not logged in, you're actually going to see this page. Now that we've done that, we're going to click on Update. And now we're going to show you an example of kind of what it's going to look like. So as we go here, we're going to open up the site. Now we can see the sample page here, it's showing up. And we can see here the Pulse 3 we modified earlier. If we try and go to that, it instead takes us back to the main page. Because if you remember, we set it so if you're logged in, you can't see it. So right now we're logged in, so we can't see it. So if we instead go ahead and log out here, it's going to take us back to the normal WordPress login page. So we're just going to go to sampledomain.net, load it up here. And we can see we set the default page to take us to the login page, which is why it brought us here. If we instead go to the actual page itself we set up for the post, we're just going to grab the permalink for right here. This actually comes up even though we're not logged in because we set this to, again, a non-only members page. So one of the ones that hasn't been touched, like the post 2, for instance, is viewable by either a member or anyone. But if we can try and go to just anything here, it'll work as long as it's not logged in. If we try and go to login page, again, it goes to the redirect page we wanted instead. So this way you can see it easily sets it up so that you can restrict access to very certain pages you want. Members can see certain pages other members can't. For instance, one a good example of the non-member page is a registration page or a sign-in page. Just because these you don't need to have accessible to anyone who's already logged in. Anyone who's logged in will then be able to access the sites of the areas of the site you want. You can even set up various levels, so subscriber levels, so people who say pay more for the accounts they set up with you can view more. And that way you can set it up so that very easily you can control the entire access level of your site. Very simple to do as you can see with this plugin. If you have any questions about how it works or you're having any trouble with it, you can always leave us a comment, contact us on Facebook or Twitter. You can also contact our support. We'll be more than happy to help you out. If you have any other questions, comments, or any other videos you'd like us to make, just leave them for us. We'll be more than happy to help make them. This video came out from a commented question as well, so do make sure to let us know if you want to see anything. Like always, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, follow us on Twitter, and like us on Facebook so that you can find out when we're going to be bringing you more videos and more information as well. Thank you.